Today, guys, if you're new here, welcome and howdy. Like and subscribe. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. So, I hope everybody's day has been good. Mine not so good. It's wet and rainy and cold and makes my eyes rise hurt. So, here's the slot sheet from last night. And it looks like I have colored these in with watercolor markers. That's what it looks like. Them is some good watercolor paint. I will be buying them again. So, let's get started with swatch number two. Let's see. Okay. So, we'll be starting here. I'm going to be using the same uh, water brush pen. I'm trying to get it where the thing is in uh, in focus. I hope it is. Okay, so we're going in with let me make sure this is So here, we're starting on the brown. Hey, I found the brown. Inside joke, y'all. Those of you that's been with me knows the joke. Let's go to the next one. I like these paints. I mean, it doesn't take but just a little bit. And really, it's just like using a watercolor marker, but with a brush. Now, these will thin out. Um... The more water you put on it. But if you don't want it to do that, you don't have to. I didn't get enough water. There we go. And I gotta say, I like these water brush pens from Mr. Pen. I really, really like them. There's a pack of six, and there's different sizes in it. But they will hold the paint. And see, Ohuhu is a budget-friendly art supply. Their markers, everything they have is really budget-friendly. And I, you know, I say this, I don't want them to up their prices, but, you know, um... If they could charge twice what they're asking for this set of 48, and people would still buy it. That's a red brown. And yes, my hands are shaking, so nothing new. Nothing new there. Which you have to put up with when you have MS. Yeah. 
Now, if you wanted these colors to mix and blend, they will. You just have to use more water. Okay. Let's see here. We are getting into the green. Oops, there's a little brown left on it. <clears throat> Try something here. I put a lot of water on it. It's a nice green. I put a little more water on that one. Yeah. Just to see what it was going to do. And it did what I thought it was going to do. The more water you use, depends on your blending. Like if you want it to run into each other. Now this palette that they've put out, um, I could I could see doing a beach scene, a sunset, ocean, and uh, yeah, I'm not trying to get too perfect with it because it's just a swatch, you know? I got a little thick. You could even do something involving woods because you got green and brown tree colors. Yeah, come up there. Dark green here. Like a blue green. Uh. It's hard for me to see when I'm getting enough water on it. Now, these paints here, I have bought some cheap brand watercolor paints before, and I would have to put drops of water on each color and let it set, and uh, before I could do anything, now, these right here. You don't have to do that. You just just go 
get your wet brush and go right for it. Now there's different techniques of using watercolors. Let me explain this. There is wet on dry, which is what I'm doing here. There's wet on wet, where you wet the paper and you get a wet brush too. Um, there is a difference. So, and I think it depends on what style or what kind you're going to picture you're going to do. Ooh, I like that blue. That pretty. Um, like if you're wanting a lot of blending, uh, it's just depending on what you're wanting to do or what your style is. Um, I'm not a teacher, so I don't know. All I know is, I like these. No, it's not the same color. It looks like it. It won't dry the same color. Trust me, I thought that on that other card. I'm like, hmm. I did this one twice. No. Okay. Got more green here. I mean, it's going on. You know what? This reminds me of um using acrylic with a little water to it. It's what this is like. It's what it reminds me of. exactly what it reminds me of. Well, like I said, the more you water it, though, the more it's... I don't know if they'll reactivate or not after it's dried. Hmm, I haven't tried that. But I'm wondering if it's possible. I don't want to ruin my other swatch sheet. I'm going to have to get some, put some on a piece of paper, let it dry overnight, then come back and see if I can reactivate this. And I'm sure that we can use these for backgrounds in our books and I would if the paper's good enough I would think you could do like a base layer of this and then come in with your colored pencils on top not sure how I'm not sure of anything there's so much new stuff in the world and on the market since I have done this. You know, like I said, the last time I done this, I was in high school. Yeah, it's been, that's been many a moon ago. Like I said, I'm not trying to get this perfect because it's just for reference. Swatch sheet. That's why I can look at it and say, okay, that's this color. This is a pretty one. I say that about every one. That's like an indigo blue. I, think. I know it's a blue violet. 
Ask me how I know that. Color wheel. Definitely violent. <sighs> this looks like Doxine Purple Hue. Yes, it does. Or a grape. More brown. Yeah, I do love their their colors. Um, there's a lot of things you could do. Now, see, that's acting like watercolor because I got a bunch of water on it. See how it's spreading out? Yeah. <laughs> This is a dark brown. Then I think I got a gray and a black. They got a nice assortment of browns. They really do. At least I found the brown. Shut up, Mel. It's still funny to me. This is gray. And I believe the next one is black. Well, you couldn't call yourself a watercolor set if you didn't have black. I haven't said anything about black. Ooh. Yeah, it be black. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to get perfect with the swatch sheet. Uh-uh. I just need it to let me know what colors are what, where they're at in the deal. Yeah, I like these, uh, water brush pens. And you can leave the water in it. It has this cap that clicks on. And I can use it again later. And here's the pens. It's by Mr. Pen. It has a mustache on it. Water brush pens. And it's like, there's six different sizes in there. And, uh, I, I, I give these oh hoo a thumbs up. Uh, 10 on 10. How's that? Yeah, I would give these a 10 on 10. And there's that one. And there's that one. Did not bleed through. Not even the water. I think that's another reason I like them brush pants. But anyway, there's both swatch sheets now. Done. This one better than this one because I'm not. <laughs> don't have to be perfect with it. Just to see what color this is what. And those blues are really an ocean blue. That noise in here is my wheelchair. Just run down rope too. You can see my bed that I have to sleep in. I 
they won't replace it because it's not five years old. And they haven't done anything about trying to fix it. And I can't afford a new bed. Um, any kind of new bed. Um, yeah, not even a... Somehow, some way, the Lord will provide. Um, yeah. Somehow, some way. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Before I shut this down, I was going to see if these will reactivate after they dry. Uh... Let me use this pretty blue right here. This is cardstock. I'm using this one. It feels like the acrylic mixed with water. I don't know if any of y'all have ever done that, but that's what these are are like. Now give me another color. Just want to see if they'll reactivate after being dry. I'm experimenting. I don't know. I've never used these. Shut it. Now I can put them up. And I can. And they'll, they'll, it just don't use much water either. I ain't having to run back every five minutes and fill it. Worth the money. That's a 10 out of 10. For me it is. Um. Now tomorrow. No, I'm going to be go out on a limb and say, yeah, I can use these in the coloring book because if you don't put a bunch of water on it, it will work a little, but that'll go down as it dries. Tomorrow I'm going to come back and see if it'll reactivate with water. I'm curious. I, I, I want to know what these things can do. And I'm going to find out. Um, uh, you know, can we just say, pray for Ukraine right now? Um, you know, I, I grew up in the era that everybody asked the question, how did Hitler do it? How could he have done everything he did? How could he have took over so many countries and did so much, so much of this stuff? You're seeing how he done it. This is exactly how Hitler did it. Um. Yeah. You know, everybody always said, "Well, how did he do it? How, how could things happen?" And it just, it, it just happened, just like it's happening now. And I don't want to lose anybody over saying this, but it's exactly how he did it. And it's happening again. I can't believe it, you know? I just sit here and like, oh my God. But everybody's afraid of Putin. Everybody's afraid he's going to do this or he's going to do that. Well, what are you going to be afraid of when he sends nuclear missile over here or something. My point of view is, you know, if I was able-bodied, I'd go over there and fight for Ukraine. I sure would. But it's like, um, you either fight it there or you fight it here. That's my mindset. 
And, you know, I've had two brothers that fought in both Gulf Wars. And you either fight it over there or you fight it here. When terrorism came here from Osama bin Laden and the towers went down, it came to us. So, I'm just saying, you know, we don't need to wait around until it comes to us again. December the 7th, Pearl Harbor, it came to us. And we had to go over there. Well, I'm not saying that's going to happen here. I, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying history is repeating itself. And it does repeat itself. And I've always heard that. And I, oh my gosh. I just need to shut up. People don't need to hear my two cents worth. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to say, you know what I'm going to say. I love y'all very much. Um, forgive me for my rambling on about my opinions of things. But, um, I do love y'all. I love everybody. You know, it's just, it's just a me thing, I guess. But, so, I'm going to say I love y'all. Peace out. Bye.